محمد صوب و غلوفتی گفتنی اسر جیگه حسول و ایرنا مغالا دکروه روح روحا کل المهیم و محلات دلق سلماني و مريم حقال روحيا و فرمضان ایجا دی گفتی بلا سعودي و سوگی جیگه فروکر کون و حقا قول عدن ارماع سیاسی دا ارماع و مريم تا ایجا دی نعدن مدا یسیدی بنت اللان محلات و حسول و بلا شغلان و حقا بیش از عادت اسیدو یه دو کدی مرکزی سازنده با آنکی حالی کسب سرایی نمی‌تیل. اسیدو شو با معادوش دو تنشنال کنی با آنکه مسلم هم رزینه یا مربها بن آدمی بذه یا رمر با آن کورش باید و اسیدو اسیدو کرده تو حمل بعد از مدت سرایی نخستی و دچوتو این ای اسیدو بلاش که یه حمل حساسی به اجسام سرایی. كتر جوايا وعن جينا الرباح هذا التعلم يكسبس الصورة أو رتبة مثل هذا يكسبس عرض موقف كده قاعد المهاس يقول قاعد إنه يهاي مدك دفتع يكسب مع الرباح وزير هذا دولة ده لون دولة مارماكا وعن جينا كرياش دولة فدرال كا إن أي سدوا ولا صعدا وعنك بنتلان سيدو كلاتنا احترام الكونستيوشن كبنتنا يكن الفرع الكا سيدو قريب أتكلم قعد القرار كبنتنا خصوصا بنتنا روح عبدين سأولين يقول لك ما يصير دستور كي لو كنا يبغيو تون كل جهة شيء احترام يصير بدل جركة من ولا سوماليا كعلنا يصير حقوق قرار دستور كاس وحكس ترى أن جهة شيء ما يصير ديار روح ولو ذاني وفتي النوي بيت غير كنا يقرأ هذا أنا وحنا جينا إلى مضى كوا كتر جو محرض هذا المجرى ما سنتي سلوك. Mr. President, thank you to you and your team for the very warm welcome. I'm very pleased to be here in Garraway. This is my fourth visit. Uh, to Puntland since I started as the UN Secretary General Special Representative. I'm very glad we had the opportunity to have an open and frank discussion. I congratulated President Denny on the appointment of his new cabinet, many of whom ministers we met this morning. So we just covered broadly two sets of issues. The first is around the um, development program in Puntland, and I've seen the outline summary that the government's put together with the various pillars, which is very clear. Um, I, what I reassured the president that he has the support and the full commitment of the full UN family. Indeed, I have George Conway with me today, who is my deputy who leads on development and humanitarian. So for example, we discussed um, the, the potential around fisheries that, that Puntland has with the longest coastline within Somalia. Um, if, if Puntland can get to the point where it can meet international standards, um, fisheries could be a great export opportunity, as well as, of course, a, a source of nutrition and livelihoods uh, domestically for the population. So many opportunities, but also many challenges. One of the challenges we've discussed is the recent cholera outbreak, which is very serious here in Puntland, and we, uh, the UN, are scaling up our support to help the government tackle the cholera problem. The second set of issues we discussed is, of course, around uh, the ongoing amendments to the Constitution. The uh, vote that took place in Parliament yesterday, and of course I've seen the statement the Government of Putnant has put out, and I note clearly their concerns on some substantive elements and also around process. But I was very pleased to hear from the President that he is committed to try and find a way through this to ensure that dialogue can continue with the federal government, to ensure that um, there is an inclusive process and the whole country can come together to ensure that eventually the constitution at the federal level defines the rules of the game and ensures the individual federal member states um, have their autonomy within that and can play their part. So thank you, President Denny, for being open to, to find solutions to the, to the current impasse. And we, the UN, through my good offices, we are here to help find a way through. And the future of Somalia is at stake, the country which has so much potential, 
and can't move forward without the full and inclusive participation of Britland. Thank you very much, Excellency. Thank you again for a very good